What's going on everyone? Welcome back to this YouTube channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install pip on your Windows 10 or 11 or how you can solve this error. Pip is not recognized as an internal or external command. So right now, as you can see, when I do pip dash V, it gives me this error and this is what we are going to solve. So go to your favorite web browser. Mine is Mozilla Firefox and you need to come to this link. I'll leave this down in the description box. You can go ahead and check it out from there. And then you need to scroll down till you see this get dash pip dot py and you will see this download the script and here you will see the link as well right click and click on save link as now i would highly suggest you to save it on desktop and then click on save and once it's downloaded let me just close this here you can see i have this get dash pip.py file right here hold your shift key and right click on your desktop just like this and then choose open powershell window here now this is going to open the powershell terminal in this folder in the desktop folder and then what we need to do is we need to say python then the name of the file which is get dash pip then you can hit tab and it will be auto filled for you hit enter and you can see it's saying collecting pip and it has successfully installed pip but it also tells us that we need to uh, add this entry in our environment variables so just copy this whole path here and go to your search bar and search for environ and you'll see this edit the system environment variables click on the environment variables click on path click on new and paste your environment variable right here and then click on OK, OK, and OK. Now, if I do pip dash V, you can see I still get the pip is not recognized. We need to close the PowerShell, open the PowerShell again. And now if I do pip dash V, you can see now we get this bunch of stuff, which means that the pip is successfully installed. To test this, simply say pip install any package, for example, BS4. And you can see it's now downloading and collecting the BS4 for me and it's going to install the package. So this is how you can install the pip or solve the pip not found error. I hope you find this video helpful. If this was helpful for you, you can support me on Patreon. The link is down in the description box. You can go ahead and check it out from there. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, peace out.